Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. I am Sangeeta studying in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about a topic, selection sorting, which comes under the topic analysis and design of algorithms. Today's contents are selection sort, mastering selection sort, fundamentals and applications, sorting simplified the selection sort algorithm, efficient sorting with selection sort, a detailed overview, example for selection sort. Introduction to selection sort. Selection sort is one of the simplest form of algorithm which is used in computer science. It is in a place comparison based algorithm that divides the input list into two parts. The sublist of items already sorted, which is built up from left to right at the front of the list. The sublist of items remaining to be sorted that occupy the rest of the list. The selection sort algorithm sorts an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element from the unsorted part and putting it at the beginning. This process is repeated for each element of the array until the entire array is sorted. And the selection sort is an approach which comes under brute force approach. Mastering selection sort, the fundamentals of selection sort. Initialization, selection, swapping and iteration. Applications of selection sort, educational purpose. Learning tool, algorithm design, small data sets, quick implementation, low memory usage, pre-sorting, initial sorting, embedded system, limited resources. These are the applications of selection sort. Selection sorts are used in educational purpose where it helps us to sort the array which they have been given in unsorted way. We can sort it in either ascending order or descending order. It also used in small data sets where the simplicity and low overhead of selection sort can be practically choice and it uses very low memory. Next is the algorithm for selection sort. So here there is a function called selection sort where it has a parameters array and n where n is the size of an array and array is an array name. For i is equal to 0 to n minus 1, as we know that the array size will start from 0 and the index will end at n minus 1. If for i is equal to 0 to n minus 1, we have to do, we have to initialize the minimum index as the value of i. For the rest of the array, j is equal to i plus 1 to n minus 1, we have to check one condition. If array of j is less than array of minimum index, then minimum index is equal to j. If minimum index is not equal to i, then we have to swap. Swap array of i, comma array of minimum index. End for end procedure. Procedure swap of a, comma b. Here we are storing the value of a in a temporary variable called temp. Temp is equal to a, a is equal to b, b is equal to temp. In procedure swap of a comma b, we have used a parameters as a and b. But in the before function, we have called the swap function where we have given the parameters as array of i comma array of minimum index. So here a is array of i and b is array of minimum index. In the place of temp is equal to a, it stores array of a. Where temp is equal to array of i, array of i is equal to array of minimum index. Array of minimum index is equal to temp and then it ends the procedure. We will see an example for selection sorting and here the array consists of 5 elements 64, 25, 12, 22 and 11 where the indexing starts from 0 to 4 and the total n value is 5. Number of iteration is n minus 1 therefore 5 minus 1 is 4. Four iterations to sort the given array using selection sort. Now, the first iteration where we, as we know, we have written an algorithm for i is equal to 0 to n minus 1. Here i is equal to 0, that is 64. In the place of 64, we are initializing it to minimum index. Minimum index is equal to i, so 64 is equal to i. We have to compare it with all the other elements present in the array. 
So if 64 is compared with 24, 12, 22 and 11, 11 is the smallest element in the given array. So 11 and 64 is swapped and 64 will go to the place of 11 and 11 comes to the place of 64. As 11 is the smallest element in the given list of array, so we are swapping 64 and 11. If swapping has been done, then we have to increment the value of i and j. Now, the i value comes at 1 and the j value will be at 2. And we have, we, have, we have to initialize the minimum index as 1. So, in the place of 1, there is a value 25. If we compare 25 with the rest of the element which is present in the right side of the array, it is 12, 22 and 64. 25 is less than, is greater than 12. So, we have to swap 25 and 12. 12 is the smallest element when compared to 25 in the array. So, swap 25 and 12. Now, the minimum index will go to the place of 2 where i becomes 2 and the j value becomes 3. So, in the place of i is equal to 2, the value is 25. And the place of j is equal to i plus 1, that is 2 plus 1, 3. In the place of index 3, the value is 22. We have to compare 25 with 22 and 64. 22 is less than 25, so we have to swap 25 and 22. Now, the minimum index comes at the place of 3, where i is equal to 3 and j is equal to i plus 1, that is 4. Compare 25 and 64. 25 is less than 64, so here no swapping. 25 and 64 will not be swapping. It is as it is. Now, the given elements are swapped. There were totally 4 iterations which have been occurred during the selection sorting. So, 11, 12, 22, 25 and 64 are the array elements which are sorted using selection sort. And basically always the sorting will be in the order of ascending order. Wherever we give descending order or any keywords, then the array will be sorted in descending order. But basically the array will be sorted using ascending order. This is the easiest way of sorting an array using selection sort. Thank you.